everybody, and good morning. Welcome into Gardening with Guy. We have two hours that we're going to be spending with you today. And yes, my cup matches my shirt today. Did you see that? Lou, look. My cup matches my shirt. Anyway, welcome to the show. I'm so excited that you're here with us today. We've got a great two hours. We're going to do all kinds of things around the garden today. We've got beautiful flowers. Have you seen these giant hibiscus that I have coming up? Look at the size of these hibiscus. Two pack of these. You get two of these for under $20 oh with free shipping. What? You got mail. Thank you. All right, let's check our mailbox, see what we got today. All right, we did get something today. Mailman came early. All right, well, as you know, we stream live on Facebook, everybody. Uh, and every week, uh, we ask if you leave questions or comments or whatever, we'd love to answer them for you. So I want to thank my Facebook friends from last week, Dawn, Connie, Thomas, Robin, Linda, and Peter. Uh, all who joined us last week, remember to get social with us. Just go to hsn.com and check out the Facebook page and you will be good to go. All right, come on over, let's get started, everybody. Oh, bird feeder first. Bird feeder, oh my gosh. I didn't hear, I didn't hear the birds chirping. Where's my bird feeder? There they are. All right, let's feed the birds. Hey, remember if you, you know, if you wanna get, <laughs> what? Sometimes I do things out of order. If you want to get your garden creatures to come to you, you know, your birds and all that stuff, even the bees and things, you got to plant flowers and you got to put some bird seed out. I'm going to put a little bird seed in there. There we go. We got that going. So that way our birds will come and the hummingbirds will come and they'll feed off the hibiscus. So anyway, all right. Now I can get started, everybody. Welcome to the show. Look who's here. <laughs> Lou, welcome to Guy's Garden. Thank you, Guy. Hi, it's a pleasure to be here. Hey, listen, you're a Florida guy. I'm I a am. Florida guy. Yep. And we love Florida because we get this beautiful, wonderful weather. We do. And, you know, all around the country, your weather's starting to get great. One thing you want to be careful of is that sun up there. Even yeah. though it allows our gardens to grow amazingly. Absolutely. It and it makes us look beautiful and feel good and all that stuff. It also can be very damaging. Well, let me tell you, we got something brand new here to the gardening show, and I am so impressed with this. It's called the Arctic Unisex Cooling Cap or Hat. We have it in two uh, sizes for you, either or two styles. Two styles. You can go ball cap. Yep. Or you can go sort of bucket hat, like that. But, Lou, this, this hat. Yep these hats have amazing technology that protects us and thank you that i like to say this is the most technologically advanced hat that's out there first oh, yeah. of all you're going to notice that it has this reflective material that's woven into yeah. it okay so that's going to reflect 99 percent of the sun's rays and i'm talking about this right here you can see on the ball cap it's here on the brim it goes across the top so that's going to reflect 99 percent of the sun's rays so that's number one number okay. two this is a woven material that allows airflow to go through here so you're getting the airflow as well and then if I turn it around, the material on side of this is called the Hyper Chill Technology. It uses evaporative cooling to actually lower your body temperature. Oh, so wow. you just wet this down on the inside, okay. and then as the water evaporates, it, it actually cools down your body. Okay, so let me show you a, a great, great example of how this works. Okay. okay. So I'm going to show you first the evaporative cooling technology. Now, we've got a thermos right here in front of me, okay? There is some super hot water inside of this. So I'm going to take an infrared thermometer, and I'm going to get a reading inside of this. Okay, let's get this off of Celsius because we're not in Canada. Okay, here we go. All right, now watch this. Okay, this is about 106 degrees okay. that's in there right now, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hat and I'm gonna pour this super, super hot water in here. And you can oh, see the is, steam. Yeah, steaming. You see the steam coming off of this? I mean, yep. that, is, that is some hot water. Okay, okay, now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wring this out a little bit. Actually, I'm not gonna use my hands. I'm just gonna just do, shake it out. I'm just gonna shake it out a little bit because I got a feeling that would have been hot. Okay, yeah. now watch this. You saw that it was 106 degrees. I'm gonna take a temperature reading inside the hat now and let's see what it says. All right, it's already down. Can you see Look that? Look at it dropping. And it's dropping down as I sit here. And you can actually see the steam still coming off the bowl where the water is. So that went down over 20 degrees in just a couple of and, seconds. And the more That's you shake it, you. Yep. the more you shake it, because what, what happens is that as the air hits it, it's what we call evaporative, evaporative cooling. cooling. And so yeah. the temperature lowers. It's like if your skin's wet and you get out of the out of the tub, right. it gets cold. Exactly. That's because air is, is cooling you down as it evaporates off That's of your it. skin as the moisture does as that this air has you. all those built-in panels we have ball cap and then we have the rim the brim the big floppy one i gotta tell you yeah. something if you fish if you hike if you oh, golf yeah. if you go to the kids soccer game and you're sitting outside in the sun this is a must have for you i mean look at the brim on this and how much room you're getting and now yeah. let's talk about the uv protection for a second okay everybody i know here in florida we've all got those sun shades we put on our dashboards with the car now, why do we do that? Well, first of all, it keeps the temperature down in the car, but number two, it, the UV light will damage your dashboard, okay? Right. Well, think about it. If the UV light can damage your dashboard, what's it doing to your skin? 
what's going on to your oh, face? Yeah. You know and, what I mean? Right. And the brim on this is wide enough that this is going to oh. protect you. You see yeah. Colette over there, and she's look, helping. Look at the shade she's got Thanks, there. Colette, for helping me with my garden today. And look, you see how it, the, uh, the brim of the hat actually extends well over her front of her face so that the sun is not going to hit her it cheeks does. or her nose. You don't want to get all burnt on your face. Here's another great example. Now, I put a little bit of water in this, um, you know, right before the show, okay? Yeah. So if I take a reading on my arm right here, and the sun's not even out. It's over 86 degrees right. on my arm right now, okay? And the sun's not out. Now let's do the inside of the hat. And I want you to see the difference. Yeah. 74 degrees. That's a huge 10 inside, degrees. It's a 10 degree well, difference The difference the between being out in the 70s and being out in the high 80s yeah. is a huge difference here in Florida. It's, well, I'll give yeah. you one more example, okay? So the reflective quality of this, okay? You know, even without the water, okay? We've got a heat lamp up here. I'm gonna walk around the side of the table and I want you to see this, okay? So if I take a reading inside the heat lamp, like right there, Oh my gosh, that was hot. Hold on a second. If that's yeah, right, yeah, you, three, you 291 degrees right. okay, is what's coming oh, out of that. Okay? Now, let's look at the top of the hat and see what that's got right there. That's 99.8 degrees on the top of the hat, so that's the heat being reflected. Now, go, I'm gonna go inside and do the forehead on the dummy. 77 degrees. It makes good so, sense. So, I mean, that's a 20 degree difference in that case because it's reflecting the heat away from it. Listen, you know what? It's you, huge. You only, you, you know, your skin is, is, is basically the largest organ that you have. It and is. You're exposed to sunshine. You know, in the wintertime, we don't worry as much about it, but in the summertime, that sun gets super hot. Whether you're playing golf or whether you're riding your bike or whether you're at the beach or hanging out in the pool right. or whether you're cutting the grass or whatever it is, you need to protect yourself. Now, a lot of people are asking, what about sizing? This this is one size fits all. It has a little toggle on the wide brim hat that you can pull close, and then the back of the cap is adjustable. What do you think? Yeah, I like it, Luke. right? Yeah, I'm yeah, a baseball yeah. cap kind of guy, and I like the way that this it, looks. Yeah, and by the way, it has almost like a fatigue kind of a it khaki. It kind of does. So it goes with you know everything. What's so I just put this on just a couple seconds ago. I can already feel the top of my head is cool. It, I'm telling That's you, crazy. it stays cool. It reflects it's the sun. I mean, it's a brilliant idea. All it you need really to decide is. is whether you want the wide brim or you want to go the ball yeah. cap, and that's all you need. It's a $20 for bill. For boaters, well, golfers. Well worth the money for a hat that has so much Like having an air conditioner on your head. Totally it's crazy. Is. Lou, great job. Thanks, Thanks for joining me. Your My first pleasure. gardening with Guy show. I love it. Sorry, I don't have a pin for you. Yeah, I ain't that, mo I ain't that Monday night dude. I'm, you know, I just do what I do. Anyway, thank you so much, Lou. Uh, if you'd like to pick it up, it's 080844. Do I have more mail? More mail. What the? More mail? Hey, Guy. Yeah? You've got mail. Thanks. All right, let's see what we got in here today. Oh, this is from HSN, everybody. So this says, <laughs> if you're ready to plan that summer vacation, or are you ready to plan a summer vacation, we've got travel expert Samantha Brown. She's got luggage for you so you can travel in style. I want to be with Samantha Brown right there. I want to hang out in beautiful places and travel. Anyway, uh, she's checking in with HSN this Sunday. So make sure you join her if you want to get a head start on some of her cool stuff. You can always go to hsn.com and check it out right there. Peter, come on in. Pete, you're 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 my neighbor in gardening with guy, right, Pete? I'm totally your neighbor. Totally my neighbor. I love that video of you that they was just showing. Yeah, you, I like you all look the, all super the manly. Dude, I'm totally manly. You know yeah, that. So you are do. you? All right. Well, let's talk about. <laughs> Solar lights, because yes. we, we love including solar lights. And the reason we have them in most of our gardening shows is I think, hands down, the easiest way you can transform your property and make it look beautiful is by adding solar lights, not just any. This right. is my favorite collection of solar lights that we do because you get a 10 pack of these for 109. And they have the most options, the most beautiful glow. You get safety and security. Best of all, there's no wiring, no digging, no plugs, no timers, no maintenance. Sun goes down, Pete. Light goes up. Now, I have a bunch of different colors available right now, but they are going to sell out quickly. So I'm going to start over where Peter is. Yep. So we have them in the beautiful stainless, stainless steel. Oh, yeah. I have them in black. Okay. We have them in the bronze. bronze. The colors that will sell out very quickly are the red, which is right here, and the blue. Now, while you're here, I want you to look at the size of the solar panel and the construction of this. First of all, these are glass, heavy-duty glass lenses, okay? These are not cheapo plastic, metal housing, and a giant, giant uh, solar panel, monocrystalline solar panel at the top. All you do is stick them in the ground. We have several ways that you can display these. 
They're on price break today for $109. They're $20 off. They put them on five flex instead of four nice. flex for us, so they're more affordable. Oh, yeah. Easiest way with the most options that you will ever have. <laughs> and my favorite thing, I know Peter's chopping at the bit. No, he wants to I, tell you. You know. Hold on, Pete. The remote control. Absolutely. The magical remote control. This allows you to change color of your individual lights. Right. This allows you to, to have so many other different options. I love it. Right, six different color six. options with that remote control. So from just having all of them on a white, we have two different whites. We have the bright white, we yeah. have the warm white, we're gonna have the red, the blue, the green, and then of course the color changing, which I think has made these lights famous after so many years. A full set of 10, which is amazing. And then we have four four different display options where you can see them where we're just using them with the ground stake or you can take that stake off and you can use it just sitting right directly on the ground or on a tabletop or on a windowsill, the steps, something like that. We also have the finial that'll go in here so you can hang it. We have a fence post mount and you're getting 10 of those with the hardware as well so you can mount these up on top of a fence post. So you can have a lot of fun really creating an amazing, you know, look during the day because imagine what these are going to look like specifically yeah. maybe the red or the blue during the day they look great and as you mentioned automatically at night they come on and you're going to have an amazing look at night as well a lot so, of bang for the buck yeah and by the way a lot of display options too right peter so if i wanted to i can hang these from a hook, because they have the little finial right there, right? Yeah. I can put them on top of a lamp post. I can actually put them tabletop. I can hang them in a tree. And look at how you can change the color. Right. See, I, I have solar lights, but there's no remote control. So they just do one thing. I mean, I love them, but I can't like, I can't make them green for St. Patty's Day. I can't make them red, white, and blue for 4th of July. Multicolor for Easter. Red for Valentine's Day. You can do that, Pete. Yeah, I can show you a little bit. I mean, we're outside, so they're not lighting up. But look at that. With the remote control to the red, to the blue, to the green. And then it's going to be hard to see, but there's our regular white. And then there's the warm white. You see the difference there? So the warm white's gonna look a lot like the normal incandescent bulbs that you have. And then look, I think you'll even be able to see this color changing. So I'm trying to hold my hand over that. So you can see oh, it yeah, just Pete. slowly dissolving and it's, between and it's, those it's different colors. It's daytime now. Yeah, so. because it happens automatically. There's a sensor, when it, when it gets dark, you're gonna have that oh, light. awesome. So it is an amazing way to really change the outdoors. So while I'm here, you talked about that, that solar panel. So you've got that solar panel, and you can see we've got a little plexiglass over there, so it's gonna keep it protected. I would say once a year you wipe that clean, but that's all you have to do with these lights. But when you turn it over, you'll see right here, that's that high capacity battery. So what that means is, I'm gonna take that diffuser off as well, that you're going to get a full eight hours of runtime. We have three separate long life, you know, very, you know, bright LED bulbs that you're never gonna have to change thousands and thousands of hours. So that's how it all works. It happens automatically every single night. I know you like to talk about this, that uh, it's nice if you put these in front of your house, that uh, you, you, know, you feel safer when there's a little bit I, of light, you don't have a completely dark home. I think when you go to a neighborhood and you see solar lights, A, it tells me people care, B, it tells me people are home, uh, even when they're not home. The nice thing about solar lights is they go on 24, 7, 360, 65 sure. so you can be on a vacation and your property lights up and, and I will tell you if I'm a bad guy I'm going to the house that's dark I'm not going to the one with the lights in it this is $21.99 on FlexPay if you don't know what FlexPay is and you're new to HSN you just pay part of it we'll ship the whole lot out to you okay you can try them out for 30 days take them for a little test drive they don't work out for you fine whatever I don't care uh, you know I want you to be a customer forever not not unhappy so but I will tell you solar lights are gonna make a big difference in your garden they they my, my house when you drive up and I know my neighbors love it too it's like glowing I mean you should see how beautiful and the pathways are lit up I owe that to my friend Peter Kilcullen here but I used <laughs> to have the wired ones which by the way don't work in a power failure uh, you know you got to run wires all over the place you got to go out there and put the little pins and the timer I, I don't have any I have no time for that I have no patience for that Pete. it's true and you have to keep doing it you know if the power goes out and then daylight savings we're yeah, gonna be changing yeah, yeah. it all the time this is so simple and I know we talk about that a lot as well guy that you're looking to do those amazing improvements to your outdoors look at this look at how easy you can create that how long would that take guy 20 minutes <laughs> it takes you I a little probably, bit longer to get them out of the it, packaging yeah. and then put them out so I love to see that during the day look how great they look and then that happens at night 
I mean, that's easy. You can do this. It's that's the beautiful. best value. It's the easiest. It's the least expensive. But you get a tremendous bang for your buck when you think hey, about this day and night. It's not too late to get them for, for it's, you can order them for Mother's Day and just tell mom that it's in the mail. Or you can get them for dad for Father's Day. Sure. It's coming up in June. And what's nice about this project is this is a really fun project to do. Unlike, you know, somebody buys you a piece of furniture and like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be putting this together forever. <laughs> These literally take... 30 seconds to 60 seconds to put each one together and then you just decide where you want to stick them in the ground there's no trenching no digging no hitting with a hammer right. you put them in the ground sun comes out lights them up and you're gonna get about six to eight hours of sunshine mine aren't directly in the sun all day so i get about six hours put it this way they, they stay lit way past um, well, i'm in bed so i don't care uh, right. but they stay on most of the night and when you wake up in the morning they just start recharging again it's the easiest it definitely most is. affordable and by the way let me say this as i see two minutes on the clock do not confuse these with bargain solar lights from the home store if you buy those you will be upset with yourself in six months to a year's time when half of them are not lighting or the plastic housing is turning yellow because it doesn't have glass lenses and then you're going to be like why didn't i trust my friend guy and pete who were trying to give me this good deal, right, Pete? Well, is there such a difference in the solar lights that you can purchase anywhere? I mean, honestly, first of all, it'd be very difficult to find a set of 10, but you could go out there and you might be able to spend $2 for a light, but it's going to be plastic. It's not going to have all the features that we have. It's not going to last. These are gonna be the lights that you're gonna have for years and years so and solid. they're gonna perform. Heavy duty, exactly. do that thing you do with your ring. I will do. Show, so it's, yeah, so, I mean, it's, so it's, a, it's a beautiful glass lens. I See, think you're going to be really impressed. I can't, I can't do that. Yeah, I, I've seen yeah. that. I, I don't have any ring. That's nice, Pete. It no, is. but listen to it. And it, that also lets you know how thick they are. Show them the no. top because look at how thick the glass is. I mean, it's just like a goblet. Exactly, a glass lens. We've got the reflector down there. And then this, all this detail work under here, this is what gives you that starburst design that you're seeing, which I think everybody loves, which can line the walkway. It is a great quality light. You are going to have these for years, but you are gonna be able to put these exactly where you want them. If you move them once a month, you can do that. If you never go out there and touch them again, they are going to deliver yeah. eight hours of light every single night. Uh, if you'd like to get them today, they're only $21.99. We marked down the price by $20. Uh, get them home. You're going to love them. They're easy to put together. It's a great do-it-yourself project. And trust me, whether you are trying to make your pool look beautiful or your lawn look beautiful or your garden, anywhere in your home, put them around your mailbox. You can put them anywhere that they're going to get a decent amount of light. And you can move them, and you could take them with you if you're a renter, too. So because they're not hardwired, you can take them with you. Sure. If you yeah. have a, a deck or a patio, you want to put them in potted plants is great. There, look at that. Take the post off, put them right on a table, put them along the outside, put yeah. them on a railing. We have the fence post mounts that are coming with this as well. This is a great set of lights. You're going to love these. I, I love them. We're just about out of time. But if you want to get them, and I tell you, try them for 30 days. If, if we're wrong, you can ship them back. But I will tell you, you're going to love them. Remember to order blue, order red, order bronze, order black, or order stainless. You're going to get 10 of these. It's our best value on solar lights and probably our easiest project for you to do to get your garden looking great. Now, you are, you're busy today with me. Yes. I'm I know we here. got pressure washer coming up. Nice. What else you got? You got, oh, you have the hose. Have you seen the hose? Dude, that hose is sick. It's unbelievable. It's a crazy. You can't, it's, it's the most uh, crazy, best quality hose, garden hose you'll ever see. So anyway, oh, here's a preview of the pressure washer. Pete, give me like 30 seconds on the pressure washer. Yeah, I mean, 1,600 PSI, it's small, it's compact, it's easy to use. Washing the car, doing the deck, the patio, it is gonna be amazing. It has that onboard detergent tank as well. So uh, yeah, I'll be here to show you in a little bit, guy. Ah, uh, good job. All right, Peter, we'll look forward to seeing you in just a bit. But right now, we're gonna go with, uh, oh, you want me to keep talking about the pressure washer? <laughs> All right, yeah, we have lots to show you with it. Hey, by the way, oh, did Pete mention we have colors in the pressure washer? Okay, we do. I have it in gray, green, blue, navy, purple, red, or teal. So if you want to get it, you can choose it. Look, that's like my shirt. You can get a nice teal pressure washer if color matters to you. Rebecca, come on out here because I can see you in the shot anyway. Oh, you can? Come on out here, Rebecca. I don't know. Hi, well. darling. How, How are you? you? It's good to see you. All right, so the, what we're featuring right now is our field smith solar lamp post twin pack. I will tell you, one, I tried to get this as host pick a while back, yep. like a year and a half ago, and we couldn't get the quantity in. I can't believe that we're doing it at the host pick price of $79.95 for two of these. Hands down, I will tell you, one of the most beautiful solar light 
presentations I've ever seen in my life so because gorgeous. this has what we call the flickering Flame, light. It's right? like what we, it's like the coach light. It's like candlelight, like a gas light, like you would see in like a Dickens movie or maybe like, you know, like Christmas Carol, Thomas something like Kincaid that. Thomas Kincaid painting. Thomas Kincaid. I love these. And you know, honestly, showing a solar light in the daytime is hard. Right. These you can easily see <laughs> during the daytime when we cover the panel. But let me tell you the offer here today. First of all, does that, uh, Dan, that does that so say free fitting? shipping? Oh my gosh, they did free <laughs> shipping too. All right, so you're gonna get two of these for $79.95, and I will tell you, whether you're putting them like we have with uh, flowers in mm -hmm. the front of your house, whether you're putting them at the end of the driveway, and decorating a garden, you're gonna absolutely love them because they come with the planter. So you can you can put stuff in the planter. Like, look, we did a, we got a little Easter planter here with a rabbit in it. We've got the springtime. Look at how at, easy. Um, um, and you can even put them right up um, if you want to up the stairs. They're beautiful. You can have varying heights if you want to um, because they do come with extension rods. But I love that you get that full planter. It's a three gallon planter that you can decide to do whatever you want. It has the drainage holes. So you know that you can have that healthy root system for yeah. whatever you plant there. And then you go all the way up to the solar panels. I love that the solar panels are flush too. You can't yeah. see them. There's four. four. The reason that this works so well is because they had room on the top of the coach light to put four solar planters in your uh, solar panels and you can see two of them right there i don't want to do knock this. the bunny over but oh great thanks show everybody yeah there he, these are the solar panels they're monocrystal solar panels that will soak in the rays of the sun recharging the two batteries that come in here they're rechargeable batteries so every single day they're charging up and what will happen is as soon as that sun goes down look at that it is high technology you've got the old world charm but this look is it. high technology you see, look at how and this is daytime guys these at nighttime look Stunning. they look like somebody lit them it's so right? important to note that the technology behind this because there's no pattern you can watch these all night long and you will never see a pattern because they go up and down and in a circle in different it's never I love yes i love it so you're yeah. getting a true flickering flame a true dancing flame yep. look and remember, no maintenance on these other than watering your flowers if you put flowers in there. I like to put a little, uh, a little uh, like garden stones in the bottom to weight it down. Um, it's pretty substantial, but they, it they made it yes. so that so that like my mom was in her 80s could move it. Easily. It's not yes. made of cast iron where it'd be like, okay, I'm never moving this thing again. Right. You can still move it around, right? But I like to put a couple stones in the bottom and then you can put your dirt and your soil. Uh, or you could just do all stones. You could do colored stones, right? If you, you wanted could do, to. Oh, and succulents. You could do an herb garden. And you could do just decoration. You can see those um, those drainage holes that I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. it comes just like this, and then you are just going to put it together. You can it's see so how easy. simple it is. If you want it a little bit shorter, you can just put this right in like that, and you can have it a little bit shorter. Yeah. So you can have that dramatic kind of um, gradual effect. Yeah, if you well, want to. The fact you're getting two you could put, is amazing. Listen, what's not, you could put that on a tabletop if you really wanted to. You could put it anywhere if it's really short. Right? But I like it like that. Look at how charming it looks in the garden. I and you know what you're bringing color and light to an area that typically oh, doesn't look. have that. I know. Uh, what you're going to want to do is place this in a in a setting that you want to sit and enjoy those long nights of summer. It is going to be something that nobody else will have in your neighborhood. Look at, look at it at night. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my it's gosh. stunning. It works best in direct light, but it will yeah. work on on um, filtered light as and well. And there is no wiring. None. There is nothing that you need to plug in. I I solar light are like one of the greatest inventions of all time because so many people especially you know all, you know dads and things like that that become very very forgetful about stuff you forget to turn something off you forget to turn it off you forget, or turn it on you forget to plug it in you never have to deal nope. with that these automatically go on as soon as the sun comes down let me tell you again what we're doing today okay i tried to get this as a host pick two years ago and i couldn't get it because we didn't have quantity we just got them back recently this is the second airing that i've had with them they gave us the host pick price, which is a clearance price of $79.95. We're gonna, you know, as we're bringing in, uh, old, out goes old inventory, and comes new. And they're doing free shipping. Now, FlexPay is a way to divide the payments up equally so you don't have to pay for it all at once. So if you're on a monthly budget, like most of us are, but you still wanna get these, you can. You're gonna get them in about a week or so, and all you need to do 
takes about five minutes to put each one together, even less than that. Yes. It, and then you just decide what you want to put in them. Like, like I said, you know, I like to decorate them with some with some rocks or with some soil, or you can just, you you don't have to put. I mean, you know, you can put sand in there. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Here's yeah. the great thing: is throughout the year, because these can last outside all year long, you're going to take on a different feel. So you can see we have a very pretty spring kind of a feel here. I love what you did. With the different flowers, but then in the summer you can put your favorite flowers if you want to or other decorations come fall you could put mums or you could put maybe some little scarecrows some yeah. little ghosted goblins in oh there oh my gosh right christmas easter eggs off the Did chart you say for easter christmas. eggs already? easter eggs are perfect i love easter eggs and you there. can hide them for the from the kids too. yeah That's little great. punks in the neighborhood little punks <laughs> <laughs> hey, get, your, get your own easter egg this is how easy it is right to set it up and once you take us through so you put your plants and flowers in there Water, I mean, you water them from time to look how they stepped it up the stairs. Right I there. love it. And yeah. in fact, you're getting two. You are getting that instant balance, instant symmetry. I have mine flanking a walkway. Uh, you could have it in your porch. Even if you have a little pool area, how beautiful would this be next to a pool area? Because remember, there's no wires, yeah. uh, no electricity needed. And you just simply turn it on when you get it. And every single night, I love how reactive it is. You can see it automatically will turn on Look and you flicker. will be mesmerized the, by that flickering flame. The whole deal with these is the flicker. The fact that it looks like an old gas light, like you'll see in some older cities, like if you go down to Savannah yes, or if you go to New, New Orleans, Orleans, you'll see the old gas lights. That's what it looks like and it's got so much charm. All right, my producer Dan is updating me. We started with about 1,500, okay? I have about, what do I have? Like 12, 1,300, 1,200 left. They're going pretty quickly. If you want them, FlexPay is the way to go. You pay, what, less than a $20 bill. You get them home. There's no shipping. You deliver them to your house. And it is for two. Two. Remember, yes. you get a two-pack of these. They're so pretty. And I love the frosted panel. So during the holidays, you're going to feel really like you stepped into a Thomas Kincaid picture, a Charles Dickens book. It's beautiful. But then those long nights of summer, you're going to love it just as much. A three-gallon planter on the bottom, if you're wondering. And the overall height, it stands at about 40 inches for two. But look at how beautiful it is flanking a walkway. Yeah. And, and by the way, we have beautiful plants and flowers coming up in just a bit. I keep looking over that. Do you see that giant They're hibiscus? Stunning. That one's the one. I, yeah, the, I'm the, eyeing the that The giant one. hibiscus, they call it a dinner plate hibiscus, right? Because the, the blooms are this big. Oh, my God. They're stunning. Today. Beautiful. 20 bucks you get that home. So anyway, if you're looking for, for little details, and you know, in a garden, it's the little things that kind of yes. make the garden stand out, right? So here's the big thing. If you were going to bring somebody into your house to give you professional landscaping, the yeah. two things that they say you need to do to up your curb appeal, color, Yes. And lights. And lights. And you're getting color and such a unique light with this. This yeah. is not like your other solar lights that you see out there Look that you just get. That it, right. I mean, and you know, we're not asking, we're not breaking the bank here. We're talking $79 for two of these, okay? I, I mean, honestly, I'd pay that for one. I think they're worth oh, it. Oh, they're stunning. Um, there's no maintenance on them whatsoever, as I said earlier in the show. There's four panels on the top that give it a, so you can get light from any direction on this and you're gonna get that great glow. As soon as the sun goes down, they pop on. I love the fact there's no switches. You don't have to deal with no. any of that. When you're away on a trip or on vacation or away for work, they automatically turn on while you're gone so it looks like somebody's home. No, and I love the technology behind this. LED lights, I don't know if you know this, but they last on average 30, thousand hours you can see the rechargeable batteries that are installed right here they already come installed you just pull a tab and then you turn it on after that every single night when the sun goes down you're going to see that beautiful flickering flame here's the technology that's behind it but watch what happens when i put them into the frosted panels so you can see it looks i mean i love the technology yeah, yeah, yeah. but as soon as you put it in there you would never and know it locks in you lock you lock it in and look at that we'll hide this we'll hide the look it how pretty. hides that that, and all you're seeing is you will swear there is a dancing flame inside. I, I think they're absolutely amazing. Okay, so less than two minutes to go. We're getting uh, really down in quantity if you want to pick these up. With free shipping today, I never, we never know from week to week when we're going to be able to get free shipping on a product. So take advantage of this today. And honestly, get them home, try them, put them on your patio, put them on your steps like that. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. Imagine if you had four of them, right? Oh, that'd be beautiful. Look at how great that is. And, they, and like I said, they're easy. You don't have to change bulbs. The bulbs will last forever. They're, they're LED bulbs. So 
LED basically means they're not incandescent, which means they don't have a filament inside there that burns. So, and that's why lights blow out because they burn out, they get hot. These don't get hot. They are always cool to the yeah. touch, always cool to the touch. So you can place them absolutely anywhere. If you wanted to use these, I actually use mine for a Christmas party. I just kept them outside all day long and brought them inside oh, for a could party. The, you could wrap the stuff Garland, around. you put yeah. garland around the holidays. These are off the charts in beauty too as well. So I love the different feel you get throughout the year, how you de decorate them. Yeah, I mean, it, honestly, you're gonna look forward to these every time you come home at night. Yeah, they maybe, make me maybe, smile maybe, a I mean, year think later. Think about this, maybe you get home late from work or you're doing something and you drive up to your neighborhood and you look and you see your house in the distance because the lights are on out there. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's so charming. If you love the old Charles Dickens sort of look, if you like thinking about like the historic, you know, cities and Savannah, like we said, New, Savannah Orleans. And New Orleans and all these wonderful, uh, you know, the old streets in the Carolinas, places where they still have coach lights and they still have cobblestones. You know how much it is to be able to install something like this? <sighs> to run a gas line? And you have forget to deal it. with the gas and you have to pay for yeah. the gas. Here you set it and forget it and you still get that gorgeous right. feel. Dan is telling me we have to move on, but I would love it if you'd pick these up. I think it's an instant transformation to any yard, easy to do so not you know I don't normally give you big projects to, to, to do here right we give you things that look beautiful we give you things that grow as well so anyway thank you Miss Rebecca thank you, thank you, you are wonderful all right don't go anywhere where do you see we got those giant hibiscus coming up right after this we use goat milk because we had it and that's how our company started but what we learned over the years is how beneficial goat milk is not only for the skin but for your body Goat milk adds moisture to your skin. It's really the most amazing ingredient. People really do notice the hydration of their skin. The farm to skin difference only with Beekman 1802. up and you're looking to impress your friends, let me show you how to make this beautiful seafood boil using my DuraPan. Let's do seafood for the dinner party. So now we're gonna, we gotta do a little bit of work. You know, we had a little bit of fun and now we gotta do a little bit of work, but it's all good. We're gonna make it easy for you with our pressure washer. When you buy a pressure washer, the real key is other outside of the name and the brand of the pressure washer is really the power that it has. And I find that 1600 PSI is the perfect amount of power for anybody uh, that's gonna be doing their own pressure washing at the house. You don't need a 3000 PSI pressure washer unless you're blowing the paint off the, the side of your house, which you don't wanna do with this. You wanna clean the side of your house. So when you order today, with this pressure washer, all you need to do is figure out what color you want. They all work the same. I have it in purple. I have it in that beautiful sort of lime green. I have it in teal. I have it in gray. I have it in this deep sort of a cobalt blue. And then I have it in the brick red. They all work the same. Now, each one of these has a little soap compartment so you can use it to wash your car, wash your boat, wash your RV, wash your shutters, whatever you want to do. But I will tell you, once you own a pressure washer, you never go back to using just a regular hose. In fact, a regular hose, what's the PSI on a regular hose? Like 40? Yeah, it's like 40 on your hose. This is 1600, so this is gonna blast away the dirt, the grime, the mildew, the leaves, the bug nests, whatever it is you're trying to get. Yeah, the little cocoons that you get in, in and around your house. Peter Kilcullen is back, and he's gonna take us on a little tour of Earthwise uh, and the pressure washer, and I will tell you, Guys, gals, ladies, uh, my mom's 80 years old. She can use this pressure washer because all you do is you plug your garden hose into one end and you plug the extra long cord into the other end. It's on wheels so you can wheel it and you pull the trigger. That's it. Pete, like, you know, whenever, whenever I do my intros, Pete just sits there like, is he ever going to shut up? Never. Pete, I got I I to lay the, I'm, I'm laying the groundwork the for you. The foundation. Exactly you know, right. Everything I said is true. I'm building for you, I Pete. love what you said about it, that anybody Dude, can use awesome. this. It's easy. Yeah. You don't need 3,000 PSI. 1,600 PSI. It's super lightweight. You pull that trigger. You've got the power. You let go. It stops. So let's show you something that I think would be impossible without the pressure washer. Maybe something you need to do at home. And that's the dirty old fence guy got you have a wooden fence at home no you don't but look at this look at the difference wow wow in what we can do with this fence i mean look I, i'm actually surprised i haven't seen 
this particular fence. Look at how great the wood looks underneath there. It, uh, that actually looks brand new. This probably was only about one season here in Florida, and the difference in that fence, mold and mildew, and the dirt that builds up. But if you were thinking about painting the fence, maybe you thought it was time to replace it. You move into a new home and you're thinking, oh, that fence looks terrible. All it takes is a pressure washer and look how easy wow. and fast it is. We give you the 25 degree tip. We also give you that turbo nozzle. Look at that. I mean, oh, look thanks, at the guy. difference. Yeah. Look at the difference That's in that. That's amazing. That is just crazy. Wow. And what would be the way to do that if you didn't have a pressure washer? Scrub brush on my no. hands and knees. You never do You never it. would get it that You just clean. wouldn't do it. Yeah. Now, here's what's great about this. Very compact, easy to use. Now, 1,600 PSI is great, but look at on how wheels. far away it is. I've got 20 feet of pressurized hose. Now, if you've used a pressure washer in the past, it used to be very difficult to work with this pressurized hose. Much more flexible, easy to coil it up, to put it away. Yeah. But not being attached to the actual machine is so much easier. You can go all the way around the car, the deck, yeah. the patio, whatever it is. And then the 35 foot electrical cord, as you described, you plug in the unit, plug your garden hose into it, and you are ready to go. So we can go from the paver, uh, from the fence to the pavers. You will be, uh, I think you get a little obsessed using your pressure washer oh, my, when you see the instant results, right? You won't put it down because you're gonna be like, okay, now I can clean this, I can clean that. Oh, right, look, I can clean this. Because hey, maybe I'll clean the car while I'm here. I mean, it's amazing. Exactly, without a pressure washer, these are the type of jobs that are impossible. Look at these, uh, like a travertine. You probably forgot how great they can look, all those nooks and crannies. Oh, yeah, look at that. It is so easy with the pressure washer. You are gonna love it because it gets those jobs done. Well, let's get nice and close in there on this green slimy stuff, on the pavers, on well, the it brick. Works, it works great on mold and mildew and, and stuff that gets on your outdoor furniture. Oh, it yeah. works great to Look do your that. barbecue grill. Hey, ladies, let me give you a quick tip. You wanna get something really, really great for dad for Father's Day? Get him a pressure washer. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, listen, you can go rent a pressure washer for like 75 or 100 bucks for the day, or you can own one. And when you own one, you will use it. It's the easiest thing ever. It takes about three minutes to plug the hose in and plug it in, and then you are out and you are cleaning. Uh, we, Danny washes cars and uh, you know, in front of the house, his buddies will come over. Always, always a pressure washer. Sure. When you go, when I go to my to the car wash, when I do that once in a while, I get my like industrial car cleaning. The guy uses a pressure washer to wash my car. I mean, you get to do this at home, right. and whether you're cleaning your boat, your RV, or whether you got, maybe you've got some weird mildew on the side of your house. Sure. Or your decking, maybe your decking material has a funk on it. Exactly, now the deck's a great one. Because again, just like with that fence, maybe you're thinking the fence or the deck, it needs to be replaced, it just doesn't look great anymore. What we were just showing right there was the turbo nozzle. The turbo nozzle is fantastic for those large areas. Good for the car, good for the outside of your house, but if you're thinking about an entire deck, it's gonna be great. So I wanna show everyone that. There, look at those pavers. I guarantee you if you have pavers and have not used a pressure washer, that is what they look like. It is amazing. There's the green stuff you were talking about on the shed out by oh, yeah. the I get side that. of the house. My shed gets that green stuff My on it. My PVC fence across the back. You know what, it, I found Filthy. out where it comes from, it's because the sprinkler system hits yeah. like three times a week, so it's constantly wet and when it gets shaded, that's the perfect place for mildew to grow. So if you're trying to get rid of it, utilize it. Now, Peter, this comes with a couple this, of different tips, right? right? This is the turbo nozzle. So I showed you that it's spinning it in a circle. So we're able to cover a lot more area, but you can hear the power with yeah, this turbo listen, nozzle. Listen, Isn't that cool? It. Oh my gosh, you can see now. And again, just like any of them, you start further away. If you're getting good results, great. If you need more power, you get a little bit closer. But this is a way to get through a large area a lot faster with that pressure washer. I mean, look at that. And that's the kind of thing, you forgot wow. that your deck is supposed <laughs> to look like that. This is so what impressive. it's supposed to look like, not this. So let's go, I know we don't have a ton of time, guys. Let's go from the deck to the outside of your house, even, or a PVC fence like I have in the backyard. Using that turbo nozzle can still be a great way to go. Large areas, because if I want to start further away, that's great. But if I need a bit more, Look at that. Now I'm really getting in there and using that power. It is so easy to get great results with a pressure washer. The windows, the doors, oh, maybe yeah. it's the screens inside, the, you know, the storm doors, any of the windows, all in the corners. You mentioned the bugs' nests. 
right? Look at look oh, how quick. Man. This turbo nozzle is great. Uh, you know what? For detailing your house and doing all around the windows, I mean, a lot of times you can't even reach the window. What's nice about this is you, you get with that extra pressure, you can go first, second floor, you can reach things you normally never would have been able to reach. And I don't want you to get up on a ladder if no, you don't have to. Exactly. Right? Combine that with that long hose. It makes it super easy. You are going to love using that turbo nozzle. Cover those large areas. We have the 25 degree tip as well. You want me to go out to the car? I think we should go you show the car. You give me the thumb. Get yeah, out I said, there. Go, go to the car. While you're doing that, Peter, I will uh, continue to work here. Oh, by the way, my producer, Dan, just said teal is going to sell out. So if you like that bluish, greenish color, personally, I'm not crazy about teal, but that doesn't matter. I'm not you. Get whatever color you want. Let me come back and show you the colors that I have available uh, while we have a chance. So right in front of me, here, here's the cast of characters. So if you want it in red, there it is in the brick red. It comes in navy. This is gray, um, kind of a slate color. Here's teal, which is almost sold out. There's green and there's purple. Remember, each one of these has a soap container built in. So you can add your favorite car wash or whatever it is you like to use. Uh, you can put your, uh, whatever it is, your Nellies, your Beekman, whatever it is that you, you like to clean stuff with. You pour it in a little container and then it gives you the ability to soap up your car without even having to touch the car. And remember, there's no need for scrubbing or, or sponge because everything you need, <coughs> excuse me, is built right into the pressure washer. Um, and so we're gonna move over to the other uh, side of the studio. Where is Peter out there yet? You ready to go? Yeah, Pete's ready to go. We're gonna show you how easily you can wash your car. Go ahead, Pete. Yeah, it's so super easy. So I just added our low pressure tip. So as soon as I do that, it automatically knows that I wanna put soap on whatever surface. So we've got car wash in there so we can use it on the car. And it puts it on at low pressure because you wanna get that soap in the right spot. So look at this. I can put in a tremendous amount of soap on there in seconds. I don't need a bucket, I don't need a sponge. I can get all the way around by the wheels and just get that all soaked up. Now what I can do is then switch that back to that 25 degree tip or you can use that turbo nozzle as well. I like the 25, it's gonna be perfect for so many jobs. And now I can hit that soap with that high pressure, get some of those bugs off the front, get the windshield, hit those headlights. I like getting around the wheels and the rims. Guy, I'm sure you like washing the car. I mean, I'm guessing you probably have a fancy, really nice car. So you want to keep that clean? Yeah. You have yeah. a white I, car, I, don't you? Yeah, it's a little economy yeah. car. It's nice. Is it? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have a lot of commuting to do. I do. But you know what? I like my car to be clean, Pete. And Absolutely. I don't have, the have you ever, you know, once I threw my back out trying to wash my car, you know, getting <laughs> underneath and all the nooks and crannies, Look you don't this. have to do that. Here you're doing nothing. It, I mean, when, I, when we talk about that with a pressure washer, you really are doing almost no work and getting so many great results. Watch, you want to try this, that? This is what I love. Look at it now. You have a grill in the front. You got to get in there with a toothbrush to clean that thing. And we, have you seen all the bugs? The no see -ems? Oh. Not the no see the, bla the whatever they're called. The them. love bugs. The love bugs. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people are posting Watch. them on social media. Yeah. They're so bad. Look at that. Look at how I get right in there. Get all that soap out of there. Look at that. Inside here. Look at here. That's a wanna... great shot, like in that grill. But I love that you can get around the wheel wells. You can get those rims looking great. Yeah, you've done a nice job with that car. I love it. And then when you step back, that's for rinsing, right? Look at yeah, that. Since we only have a minute, I want to show them that we can go from the car. You want to do this patio furniture? You want me to handle that? Yeah, here, hold this. Oh, oh yeah, well, yeah, I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> just messing with you, Pete. Yeah, so, yeah, do the furniture. So when you finish washing the car, let's get it. You know, do the, all those other things that are outside and have been outside all winter long. I love seeing the results on something like this patio furniture because once again, it would be extremely difficult to clean something like that without the pressure washer. Yeah, you'd have to scrub it. I mean, it. the difference is immediate, and it only takes a few seconds. Yeah. How about the barbecue grill? I know that you use your barbecue grill a lot on your little deck. Yeah, and got it gets out, nasty out and there. And it does. But look at this. You can really get close and blast away all the dirt and grime all winter long. It's been sitting outside. It is such a great way to clean. 
you are gonna love using the pressure washer. It is so simple. You know what I love too is if you watch, Peter's not raw, he's not out of breath. He's not, no. Putting, he's no effort putting uh, putting into this other than the little grip. And by the way, they made the grip really, really um, uh, user friendly. So yep. if you're a senior out there and you think, oh, it's gonna be hard, all you do is just squeeze a little bit and you get that pressure. And notice too, when Peter lets it, when he, when he lets it go, yep. The machine shuts off. It doesn't idle like a yep. motorized gas machine that's gonna run and make noise. You don't have to ever deal with that. If you wanna get something clean, this is the way to do it. All right, you're coming back. Absolutely, next hour. A most amazing hose <laughs> ever. Stick around, be right back. You can't afford not to be brave. It's not even an option. When life puts a wall in front of you, you break it down. Remove the fear. Remove the uncertainty. Be authentic. They say fortune favors the bold. I've been bold all my life, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. The thing I love most about shopping at HSN, do I have to pick just one? I'd have to say FlexPay. Mm -hmm. It allows me to get the things I want now and make monthly payments without any interest or fees. I got a new mattress for the guest bedroom, a fabulous cookware set for my sister's wedding, and a little something just for me. FlexPay gives me the flexibility to buy what I need now without the stress of having to pay for it all at once and no interest. Beat that layaway. Rochelle's here. Hi, Rochelle. Hey. Yeah, you know, whenever I, I get so excited uh, when, uh, when, when you guys are here because you're wonderful to work with. I love what you bring us. And I will tell you, Leaf and Petal, which is the people that supply us with our flowers, have done such an incredible job this year. We get so many great comments on them. The most beautiful, gorgeous plants you will ever get. We're going to start you off today. First of all, uh, Rochelle yeah, is a basically a landscape, a landscape designer, amongst yep. many other things. She knows how what's going to work in your neighborhood. When you order today, everything is going to ship right out. You know, we're, we're beyond the point of, like, it'll ship yeah. when it's time yeah. for you no, to it's plant. it's all shipping. It's all shipping right now because pretty much across the country, we're ready to go the shipping is free we're going to ship it right to your door all you do is pop these things in the ground and go crazy this is one of my favorites it's called the aurora borealis impatience set yep. this is like in any other impatience you've ever seen before these things grow huge they don't they're not huge. just ground cover and you get one two three four of these plants for 19.95 crazy these are crazy and here's the thing these are annuals so they get this big in one season. So one this season. is what's gonna arrive. Right. You get this nice little box, four of these plants right here. They aren't that big. But I wanna show you this right here. This is what it'll be in just a few weeks. Yeah, here, I'll hold weeks. this and you pull that out. So, so watch what happens. This, I mean, these things grow so fast. Like, and, uh, that's what's so fun about them. This is what is gonna arrive. This is a month later. This is a month. This is later this summer. This, this is, is in this a couple is of months. This is July. Oh my um, gosh. So, which is great because honestly, in the garden, it's often so easy to, uh, you know, we've got all these things blooming right now. Yeah. All the spring and early summer stuff. And then there's always like, this dead time yeah. before all this like fall <laughs> stuff comes on. Right. This is, and, and some of the other stuff we have here too. These are really great summer color flowers. Look stuff it. that's gonna carry you through that kind of, you know, slow time in the summer and I, get you really a lot. I, I mean, you get all of this for 19, everything you're seeing. I mean, the square footage of this is just is amazing. And, and I love that you're impatient. They, they don't just grow flat. They actually grow up a little they bit. They grow up. They grow and up. these are, um, we call them sun patients. Right. Uh, they are sun standing, sun standing impatients. Um, and th the amazing thing about these is impatients, uh, are known for growing well in shade. Right. So if you have shade, these are going to be a They're great, ideal for a that. great, yeah. a great thing to fill in those shady spots. But these also do really well in the sun. So yeah. they're not little weaklings they're that as e soon as they easy. hit the sun, they wilt down or anything. They're easy. Yeah. So um, show everybody the close up yeah, of the flower. Yeah, no, I want to show you this. These because um, they look a little like really red. The, the the camera doesn't exactly pick it up. I want to tell you this is actually kind of an orange with you can't see it that well with a oh, burgundy yeah. edge. There's a lot of striations. There's a and lot. Things in there. It's got yeah. this burgundy throat and like an orange center and then this burgundy edge. So you, you can't really see that all that well on the camera, but they are stunning. And um, from a distance, they do look red, but when you get up close, they really have a lot more detail to them than you might realize. Um, 
on the TV and, here. And as far as like where you would want to put these, I would say, I mean, I would put these anywhere in it, in and around other flowers. They're ideal. You know, when you guys were doing those lights over there, yeah. they come small enough. You could put those around the bottom of those around lights bottom, and like and you have them, this oh ginormous gosh. thing we with those lights. We should do that. The next time we have that, we I should know, do that. That I know, would be I, awesome. As I was watching, I'm yeah. like, we're putting patience around I that. Know, that I know, I know. Yeah. But look at, you get all four. Um, what about easy to grow? Like we, we I know we, we, we kind of go over that over and over. These, these are easy. These are not hard to grow at no. all, right? These are easy. In fact, um, I used to do these massive commercial plantings. When you're doing commercial plantings, you pick easy stuff. Stuff that yeah. is just going to be rock solid, not risky, not going to crash on you. Right. None of that. That's what this is. These are you know, these are just the easy, easiest plants, which is what we're all about, really, is making you look like an awesome gardener. One of the reasons we chose Leaf and Petal, first of all, because of the quality of the rootstock and the quality of the plants that they send you, because obviously we need these things to grow. Otherwise, we're not going to get your right. business. And and so we had to search for the best of the best, and we found them. Also, the, the manner in which they show up, they come in these wonderful boxes. They're ready to Red go. Packs. They're not all beat up. And these are not, I, I repeat, these are not the same stuff that you see in the garden no, stores, no. which a lot of that, you know, you, you pull something out of a out of a container and the roots are, you ever see the roots are all jammed? It's because it's been yeah. sitting there and they got nowhere to go and, no. it's, and they're struggling. These come straight from the nursery, well cared for, yeah. packaged and straight to your home as fast as we can get them to you. They really are beautiful and they really are like healthy, healthy plants. And I love the deep, deep dark green behind it I because know. it sets the tone, the canvas, if and you will, the for way, the collar. And by the way, can I just, I want to show you this. I'm yeah. Pull one out. Look, Look I mean, at it. You kind of can't get the whole size of it. But this, yeah, I mean, I again, just, I just want to say to you, this is there. one plant. Yeah. And this is also, we don't trim these or anything for shape. This is how they grow. They grow, they grow in these really nice little balls. So oh they're great for like flanking your front well, door or up a walkway Rochelle, or, or anything like pretty that. Pretty much months of blooms. Months. Yeah. Months Once and they months. start, they don't stop. You they, just have to water them. That's oh my it. gosh. So, so, you know, because a lot of times when you have roses, your roses will come and go. And then there's yeah. only one on there. And then one day there's five and then there's none and you, these the if only you look thing really that will close, stop these is a you, frost you can see the buds underneath yep i don't know if you, how close coming. you can get but i'll pull these apart look what's coming up inside can you see look there's more in there's more inside there and honestly, too, it. you know, a lot of things like this, they need, like, cleaning. Like, you have to take off the dead stuff and deadheading. Right. You don't have to do that with these. I mean, these, you can even see here and there, there's, they just kind of fall off, and that's the end. Right. You know, you, no worries. You guys are going crazy for these. They're very limited. I know a lot of you are chomping at the bit because you want to get to the giant <laughs> hibiscus, which is behind us, which, to me, I, I, I mean... I was trying to figure out what, what to choose, uh, or not, uh, the butterfly bushes are coming up too, but I was trying to figure out what was my favorite. I can't decide today. I know, it's a They're, hard one. I, oh my I gosh. don't know, I can't decide. I love all hey, of these. these you know great. what we have? Will you talk about the strawberry plant that's coming up? Oh my gosh, the strawberry oh my planter gosh. is, it's beautiful. I, um, I planted mine up in my garden just last week and already I have green leaves popping out. Monica, yeah. who works here, she planted hers three weeks ago. She already has um, flowers and she's gonna have you berries. See did you see her pictures? Yes, I did. They're oh amazing. Oh my gosh! Imagine, imagine walking out on your front porch and pulling strawberries off of your oh, off of your plant. I know. There. So fast. You'll oh have my strawberries goodness. in a couple months. That's, that's it. coming up, and everything yeah. that you need is included with that kit as well. So that's coming up in a little bit. All right. About maybe a week or two ago, I'm not sure if I was with uh, Rochelle or if I was with Mark, but we presented our butterfly bushes, and they completely sold out. We just got them back, and I will tell you, if you love butterflies like everybody does, everybody does. you need to get this. It's hard to believe that you're going to get two, two of these in the two signature colors for $19.95. Wait till you see the butterflies that are going to come yeah. to your house. I love the spikes of color I, on I these. I mean, these are such unique flowers. Oh, my I, gosh. I mean, when I'm designing a garden, I'm always looking for texture and uh, color that is a little different, not just with the flowers, but with the leaf. And you really do get both of that here. You get these big spikes of flowers, which are so different than most flowers. You know, these just massive. They're like 10 inches long spikes of flowers. There's a pink one called Prince Charming, and the purple one is our dark dynasty and both of these are really unique colors this purple is uh very dark much darker yeah. than your the normal butterfly bush that you see and the pink one is is of course pink most most butterfly bushes are kind of a lavender purple and they have look at the yellow on I the know, inside yellow on do the you inside? see the yellow and then the silver leaves i mean honestly these oh, are uh, to me look these are one sage, of my don't they kind of almost like a yeah, sage leaf. exactly like yeah. a sage yeah they're really pretty to me these are like summer 
in a container. Oh I, I think of summer, deep, hot summer. These smell amazing. Um, they, I, like, I just they, you know what I, I smell always like say? honey. Exactly. Yeah. They smell like a really floral honey when you yep. smell them. They're unbelievable. And as we said, butterflies will come flocking to your yeah. house. I mean, I, I and bees and bees yeah. too. Which and bees are good. Remember, bees just want the honey. They don't want them. nothing to do with you. Yeah. They'll actually won't bother you while they're yeah. hanging out here and doing their thing. Um, look, talk to me about growing. So are these annuals? These are, nope. These, these are, are perennials. perennials. So these, these come are back. perennials, and these are super hardy. So um, in the in the coldest areas, like way up north where I live, yeah. you might find that these die all the way back but don't freak out the beautiful thing about this is that these are kind of late starters so you've got all this stuff going on right now these are going to be some of the one of the last plants to kick in but these go like crazy as soon as they start growing they grow so fast you'll get this size literally in a season and then this will potentially depending on where you are yeah. all die back and uh, hey, to the ground. Will you show everybody yep. what this comes with and how they're yeah. gonna get it? Because I, I like you to be prepared for what you get. Yeah. And we give you all the this instructions, but like. look at how look how healthy the plants they're already are when they healthy. come to you. See this? And these will grow, you'll probably get uh, to a couple feet uh, by a couple feet this season. Ultimately, they'll be uh, about four by four, which is what these are here uh, it, after a couple years. Um, the other thing I wanna mention is that because these are perennials, you get our perennial guarantee, which is a full year. Yeah. A full year. So if you have any problems or yep. if they don't come They'll back replace it for or you. Yep. Any, any issues whatsoever, just give us a call. All of our details are on the back of our uh, brochure. You get one of these brochures um, with all of the care. It tells you how to plant it, where to plant it, everything you need to know. All of our plants come with one of these. Look at so, this. Uh, if you have any issues, just right here on the back, contact us. We'll replace it if with uh, something the same or similar, and uh, you have nothing to worry about for a whole year. I want to give you an idea of the size of this because I'm a pretty big guy, right? And I want you to see how wide these are going to be for you. And as they get bigger and bigger year after year, you're gonna you're just gonna flip out. They have the most beautiful color. I love that you brought up the leaves themselves because the, so the leaves pretty. themselves have almost like a frosted look to them. This, these are romantic to me. Oh, like, they're I, beautiful. I, I used to have one outside my garage window and the garage window in my house oh. is completely dirty. So it had this sort of romantic sort of vibe whenever I drive in and it, and right outside of it was a big, beautiful butterfly bush. And it just like the whole thing, I could just imagine like pretty music. Yeah. Every time I drove in, it was just we are, stunning. We are getting extremely busy uh, between this and then the, what's coming up is the, the giant dinner plate hibiscus. Yeah. People are going crazy and ordering that already. <laughs> but I will tell you, this sold out the last time we had it. And, and you get both. You get you both colors. And these are two different variety right. kind of colors, right. right? Prince Charming and Dark Dynasty. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Just, Which are very unique colors, by the way. I like, And I like the shape of the flowers different. You know, normally flowers we think of as like, a, you know, the regular yeah. rose or tulip-shaped flower. These are nice. These are tall. These are more like, um, I, I'm not even sure what, they, what I would say. they spikes. Like, um, I don't know if you know, like an astilbe or a delphinium. Yeah, we know or lilac. Has, lilac has a chance to hang down. Yeah, these right, shoot wisteria. Up. Yeah, they're yeah. kind of like uh, upright wisteria a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and not, not only that, but if you've grown um, if you've grown butterfly bush before, you know often the the flower stalks are probably half of that, yeah. maybe even less. I mean, different right. varieties do different things. These two varieties, we did choose them to have really long flower stalks, so you get a lot of color um, and these really big. Uh, huge, like 10 inches long so beautiful. Uh, blooms, which is really unique right. too. Let me tell you what the offer is today too, because I know I see inside three minutes before these things sell out. So you're gonna get both of these for $19.95. It's a $20 bill. All right, you're gonna get both of these. They're gonna, they're gonna week after week, day after day, week after week, month, you're gonna see these things just explode with color. Your whole, the whole area where you put them in will have that sweet honey. Oh, you don't even have to walk the, up to The them. fragrance is it. unbelievable. I've, I've never smelled anything like it before and I love it. That's why all the butterflies come in because they can sense, first of all, they see the colors, but they sense, you know, they know there's a lot of nectar and in these things. A lot of nectar, yeah. and, and if you look at the number, they're, they're smart because look at, you get a lot of bang for your buck if you're a butterfly. I know you do. Bang for your buck <laughs> if you're a butterfly. You know, I have these and uh, <laughs> I mean, I, if at any given time, I can count easily 20 butterflies That's on one crazy. of them. If not more, I mean, you, have you, um, you know, here in Florida, we have uh, Universal Studios up in Orlando, and uh, in one of in one of the hotel uh, areas, they have uh, their butterfly garden. Yeah. 
and these are all over the place. Yeah. You see them everywhere because they know that, you know, butterflies and insects and creatures, you know, they have this inherent thing, right? They know, you know, they're programmed to find food and that's what they do. Yeah. And they get that by, with their little receptors. You know, they got those big long antennae and stuff and they can, they know when there's a good meal coming and that's what this provides for them. Yes. For you, it provides the most amazing fragrance, the most eye popping, like I said, spikes of color and you will be so excited when you yeah. plant these. You really will. I like to say if you if you plant it, they will come. You know, they kind will. Of like Kevin Costner. But, I do. Um, and but I no, love, they really will. They come. They you know come what? I, I find saw it. like I I saw butterflies in my yard the other day, and I have um, I have the hibiscus out there. I have lavender out there. I have my tomatoes out there. So the the bees were actually going to the tomatoes finally oh, and yay. pollinating my tomatoes. <laughs> um, but I uh, but the butterflies come in and I'm so, I just sit there because I can see them from in my house. Yep. And to watch them slowly move their wings and watch them as they're feeding it's amazing they're it's so like they're relaxing. like i mean they remind me a lot yeah. of like when you're watching hummingbirds yes and by the way hummingbirds will love this they as do. well they do love yep. these yep but i just i'm fascinated by that kind of that side of nature where you're just sitting there with a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and you're watching wild creatures just come right it's like you're, you're living in your own zoo i know and they'll come right up i mean if you yeah. have these planted just along a patio it doesn't matter if you're sitting right there they'll come oh, yeah right up to you they'll be inches away from you literally they'll they're they love these so much they don't care if we're there you you can see them. how full this has gotten look at the size of the planter that we put this in and again season after season these are just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and what about maintenance on a plant like this do i have to trim anything you can if you want uh, but these ones are, i might have to because um, it's so big this one these get a nice kind of uh dome gumdrop sort yeah. of shape so they're really uh you don't have to trim them if you wanted to keep them smaller they're not going to get more than like four by four at the most um as it is so that's a nice healthy uh big container size or you know in the ground i mean i, I have mine in the ground they make a great hedge